Yo. What is up, sucker mother lovers? In that order. <laughs> How y'all doing, sucker mother lovers? O M G. Oh my God. So okay, after looking at everybody's video, I mean uh, comments, we decided we were watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. O M G. Drama from the first scene. Oh my God. This show. You guys, I just saw so much drama. I'm serious. Like, I literally was watching at one point, like, did that, did that really just happen? Oh, God. No, he didn't. No, she didn't. I have to say, first off, I know that I am very contrary at times. My accent especially comes out a lot when I'm on camera. Oh, my God. But those girls and those men, they all have me beat. Like, I felt like it was a couple of times I couldn't understand what they were saying. I was like, oh, my goodness. They were very contrary. But, um... Yeah, this show, Jesus Christ. To start off, it was, was it me or was it a lot of color in the in the hair? Everybody, I swear, every woman they showed at the very beginning at the credits, you know, just showing the club, everybody had color in their hair. I was like, am I? did I miss the memo? Should I have color? Because I'm from the South, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know. Like, at one point, I used to have a little color. It was just a little blonde piece. Y'all remember it? I don't, should I have more color? Should I put some more blonde here? I don't know. I was like, everybody had color in the hair. It was red. I saw a couple of oranges, a little, the girl, the popular honey blonde. It was a couple of honey blondes in there. Like, oh my God, it was just a lot of color. I saw, I saw the purple. It was just, everybody had color in the hair. It was funny because uh, my friend Big Ron that actually lives in Atlanta, I, of course, they saw the, uh, the um, episode first. And so he's like, I'm about to pack my bags and I got my U-Haul. I'm leaving Atlanta. And I'm thinking like, what? And he's like, he had the hashtag love and hip hop. So I was like, oh shoot, what's really happening? He was like, I am so shamed to say I'm from ATL. And after watching the show, I could see why a couple of people would be a little shamed because this show was plum doggone foolery. But the sad thing is I immediately, after watching it, I went on ahead, cooked up my little series. I was like, go on with series record that. It looked like this may be, have, be something I'm going to have to watch. But the thing is, is that I was back and forth. I was actually like, you call closet freak. Hey, girl, hey. I was actually like her because she was saying that she wanted to watch Hollywood X's. And so I was like, but then when she was like, she was going to review it. I was like, cool, cool, cool. So I'll just do this show, watch her review and watch the show because it was just too much. I may every once in a while have something to say about Hollywood X's. But I was like, I just feel like all the shows of Hollywood X's is just this show. They finally got the name right because basketball wise, ain't no wise on the show. You know what I'm saying? Now you got this love and hip hop. It's just like a lot of hip hop and a lot of pop and pop. I'm just saying. So it starts off with me, me, and Stevie J. Oh boy, y'all already know. We're gonna see a lot of this couple and it's gonna be a lot of drama. Right off, you already knew the way Stevie J was sitting in that dang on BMW deck. He was a hell pimp whatever you want to call it so he drives her out and she's like you know and i get it because i feel like we've all been there and if you're young and you're 16 you're gonna go there where well, you just had that person and i mean they could just say one thing and you like you stupid <laughs> no nah, i love you too no nah, i don't know i don't know you know you have that but it's like i, I kind of felt bad for it because they drive up and it was crazy because i was like predictable because I used to date this guy years ago, and he told me we couldn't date. And I was like, why? Well, he said, because you think too much like a man. And it's so funny because I was like, well, what you mean? But see, I have brothers. So, yeah, like, I'm going to meet you at the at the jump-off spot. I may be there chilling, too. I may have me a jump-off. You don't know. You know, but I think it scared him a little bit because my mentality was more, more so like a man because I'm kind of like, I ain't got time for that. You know, and I'm... I'm Simple. I, I'm about simple. You know, I don't go all into it like most, you know, some women. I'm not going to say most, but some women. And so, yeah, it scared this guy. And so we didn't date. We became great friends. And that was the end of that story, you know, <laughs> for real. But yeah, Stevie J, it was funny because he's like, oh, I got it. You know, as soon as they pulled up to the house, I was like, we already know what this is. Sure enough, he's like, today, this is your house. But she had already said, I don't know what we driving for, where we going. Girl, we going to drive you out the city. So you can't, when you say that you about to pop up, it's going to take you at least a good hour to pop up on me. And let me do what I got to do in the studio. He was smart and it was so messed up because she was like, so, he kept saying, so this is the house for you and baby girl. He ain't saying nothing about himself. He's like, yeah, I'm going to stay in the city. Y'all got this. I'll probably come by every once in a while when I'm tired. But for the most part, this you. I don't know. When I was watching it, I was like, well, Stevie J, you might as well just move the girl to Houston. I mean, you done moved her way out the city. Like, why don't you just go and keep it real? But like, you know what? I think the housing market is a lot better in Houston. You stay here and I'm going to go back to Atlanta. I'm saying just keep it real. You want to pimp it? Come on, pimp on, pimp it. 
Oh, and then we go into the scenes of Erica and Lil Scrappy and Diamond and Soldier Boy. See, right there, that's too much foolery going on. Too many names, too many uh, salivas being swapped. And it's just too much. I, I, I don't know. Though it, all those names just made me say STD. I, it was just too much, you know. And I ain't saying nobody had nothing. Don't you try to come sip that. I, I don't know who had what, but I guarantee you, somebody in that group that's not having protected sex. So I'm like, it's too much. It's too much foolery going on. <laughs> That immediately made me think of Lil Scrappy's mom when he said that she should have had a mask. That <laughs> Diamond should have had a Massengill commercial because the way it smelled. First of all, I just need to know how you know how it smell. That makes me nervous. Like I don't know what you and your son is doing. I'm not okay with it in that order. I'm just saying, I got nervous. I just want to do a side note on Erica and Lil Scrappy's daughter that was just adorable. Did she have a blue eyeshadow? Was she playing makeup? I just need to understand what was going on because it was bothering me. I could not. Y'all told y'all I got ADHD. So every time the camera would pan to her, even when she was in the background, I'm like, is that blue eyeshadow? I could I, I just couldn't even concentrate on that scene, you know. But it was so, like, I don't know. Like, that really made me think, like, we take people back. Like, that, that has to be hard, first of all, to be in the public eye. And knowing that it's being said that your man is cheating in the public eye with this girl Diamond, not only is he cheating, but he leaves you for her. And the only reason he comes back is because Soldier Boy comes in the picture. So Soldier Boy told him that. And then guess what? Now you go back to baby mama. Y'all take him back. It sucks. Because it's like these ladies, they're like, I've been with him for 12 years. I've been with him for 15 years. And my friend and I was watching it. And she was like, would you deal with that? Like, you know, would you date somebody, you know, that like had a lot of money, you know, and you would you deal with that? And I was like, well, first of all, I was like, a lot of these women were there when they didn't have anything. That's the messed up part. I was like, and furthermore, like, your money is not my money. Like, I, I am a very firm with saying that. That's why I make sure I got my own. You know, I buy my own sticks from the dollar store. You know what I'm saying? I buy my own watches and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because this watch right here, this thing right here, it cost me $2, you know? No, but for real. Like, I, this is why I don't like people to take care of me because of stuff like what Stevie J said. Like, this is what you want to do? Like, this life you want? I'm take care of you, but I need to go make this money. And probably bang a couple of girls along the way. I'm sorry, it's like, what? I don't know if I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, can we can we have a, like some other option? Cause that one just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for my the way my life is set up. It just it just doesn't work for me. It was funny because little Scrappy had the nerve enough to use the daughter, saying that that's why he came back because his daughter never had the you know chance to see his his mo her mother and her dad together. I'm glad that uh uh what's her name uh Erica went on and called him out and said. Uh, would you have come back if Diamond wouldn't have left you for Soldier Boy? He was like, you know, I was just thinking about that. And, you know, the sky is blue. And every time I turn around, you know, it's like I have to work and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm thinking about getting a new tattoo. You know, I love you. Hey, girl, you didn't answer the question. And I'm glad she went back and was like, did you answer the question? But, like, I don't feel, uh, I don't know. I feel sorry for her. I hope she get it together. Like, that whole situation. Side note, everybody got donks. Everybody. Like, I was like, I need to, like, really start doing some squats because everybody had a donk. Like, donk it donk, don't donk. Like, when she was walking in that store, I was like, God damn. Like, I was like, I thought I had a booty. I did. Like, but, you know, I don't. Like, after looking at this, like, I have a lot more work to do. I need to eat more cornbread. I'm going to have to go to the gym, do a lot more squats because I got a lot, a lot of work to do. Like, I, I'm no, like, compared to their booties, like, I'm flat booted. I'm flat booted. It's like flat chested, I'm flat booted. I'm sad. Am I the only one that looked at Kate, Kate, see, see, I did it already. I looked at Kate Michelle and I was like, is that Keisha Cole, little cousin? You trying to take Keisha Cole swag? Like, I was, I immediately thought of Keisha Cole from the hair color to the tone to her skin color to how she sings because she almost had, like, a rugged type like, Keisha Cole kind of sometimes would yell when she was singing, almost like it was anger coming through the song, but it was not bad sometimes. But y'all get what I'm saying. And I felt like that that's kind of her swag. And I was like, girl, we finna have another situation where somebody is jacket swag. I'm just saying, I don't know, Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim. Y'all got, that's a whole nother video right there. But it don't matter anymore because Lil' Kim has switched over. She she looking like a damn Reby Jackson. I really think that's Reby Jackson. I, I don't. I don't know. She don't look like Lil' Kim no more. Like, she ain't even the same color. It was really sad, though, to hear about what happened to Kay Michelle. Like, I hate to hear about women getting abused. I'm just happy that she got out of it because, you know, 
a lot of times these situations they just don't end up the way you would hope they would end up where you know well, one day he gonna wake up he gonna stop beating me no usually it's just gonna get him he's just gonna get worse you know you're gonna end up dead like so if any women out there you know you didn't got abused maybe slapped jerked around a little bit do yourself a favor and be honest with yourself pray about it and bounce seriously like there is absolutely no reason in the book for anybody to put your hands on you. on you. Nobody should put their hands on anybody. I'm serious. It's just it's just should be against the rules. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but um, uh, Mimi's friend Ariane, Ariane, I'm not sure. I like her. She was speaking the truth, and it was so sad to see her crying because it's like she knows that her friend Mimi, she don't deserve this fool Stevie J. Like, I mean, well, excuse me, Stevie J don't deserve her. And it's like it's sad because, you know, she, she, you know, she's just sticking around. It's kind of like you know that this man is up to no good. And it's like she even said, uh, is it the, is it the ding dong that's keeping you around? Like, let's just be real. Is it, is it the dang down down now? And she was like, ain't no dick ever, never kept me around. It's like, oh, well, maybe, girl, you need to go do some more searching. Maybe that ain't the man for you, girl. I don't know. It should never be a, a utensil that keep you around, though. She's in love with him. She is really, really in love with him. It sucks. It sucks when his love is involved. It's just not easy. You can't walk away. It's easy. Now we get into Stevie, Jay, and Jocelyn. Woo! First of all, what accent does she have? It's almost like she kind of talk like she don't understand what's going on. Like that? I don't know, Custy VJ. He is my more. He is my man. He is my everything. Like, he understands my body. He understands. You know, you got me working hard, this body. Where's she from, y'all? I forgot. I, I missed that part. Like, but did she really go to the studio with her underwear on? Like, seriously. I don't, I hope she don't want to say that those are shorts just because they had a pocket. Like, they make underwear like that now because they, they're designed, like, you know, just in case you got to go to the bathroom, you can put, like, a panty line in there. I don't know. Those those were not shorts. And she could come there. You like my outfit? Girl, you knew what you was doing when you walked in there. But she let it be known. And she was just kind of like, yeah, I mean, he do more. He do more than, you know, get down here because it's more about my pants. Yo, because he fucked my brain. what get out of here girl and he going home to another woman what like I oh like I it really upsets me because it's like women these days like you gonna respect me you gonna respect me I'm sorry are you respecting yourself first of all walking in the studio on your draw second of all you are the side chick like I don't get that like if you are the side chick stay in your lane boo like no I like that upsets me just how, like how she clowned at the club and was going off and was talking about the girl like talking about Stevie J's boo, Mimi, like, hello, like, Stevie, that's when he should have been slapped both ways by both women, because it's like, at the end of the day, I always talk about this, I know people sometimes mess up, they cheat, but respect me, like, don't, it's kind of, I'll go back to what uh, Chrissy said on Love and Hip Hop, don't, don't make me look dumb, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm still probably gonna break up with you, but don't make me look dumb, like, don't, really, 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 like, this girl is just on this show, you know, oh, Ooh, I'm, I'm getting upset. I'm getting upset. Those boobies bother me, especially when they did the, the her confessional and she had that like black thing on. And did she have a tattoo right here on her boobie? I don't know. Something I like really wanted to scrape it. I was like, is that dirt? Like, did somebody forget to get that dirt off? Or is that like tape? What is it? I don't know, but it bothered me. But I guess maybe it was a tattoo. I don't know. Looked like mush to me. I'm sure right after that scene, he banged her because she was like, well, that's my song. Gonna make a turn. Gonna get the bazaar. I can't hear the that. And scene. They bang. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mama did. You know, it's always, these reality shows are not complete unless we got somebody's crazy ass mama on the show. And this little scrappy's mama. Mama D, boy. But Mama D definitely has a little bit more sense than some of these other mamas on these shows. But it was so funny because she's so worried about her kitchen. She was like, man, how you gonna pimp a pimp? Like, seriously, you was really a pimp? Girl, pimp on pimping. Like, I, I couldn't even be, be mad at that. In that order. Everything was in that order. That was funny. Like, oh my God. Like, I just couldn't. Every time she would say it, I would just get tickle pink. It was so funny to me. It was funny because when Mama D was talking to uh, Mimi about, like, that she needed, you know, to be a little bit more affectionate, she was so animated. She was like, I mean, because, you know, hey, ah, you know, because you, ah, 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 you know, because you want to, ah, ah, you know, because he need to, ah, ah. I was like, can you stop with the ah, ah? I was like, I couldn't even keep up. But I don't know. It's like, I don't know if she, because Mimi really got upset. And she definitely had a right to be upset because, like, first of all, 
cold red red zone cold ten. Like you don't get to talk about like her mom. Like come on, mama D that wasn't right. But it's like she's trying to tell you little things and her her son. That's like he, she's breaking the code with her son, trying to tell you like you kind of need to be more affectionate. But she's like when I was affectionate, he left me for diamond. Ooh, she got a point. So it's kind of like why should I be affectionate now? He gonna do is leave me. So now I'm gonna just make him big. Now he's talking about why well, I can get it from a million women. I don't have to get it from you. It's just a tough situation. But it's like this. If you're going to forgive him, then forgive him. And you, you can't just keep harping on that stuff. You got to move on. Like, it's okay to make him suffer a little bit. But after a while, you got to move on. Let, let that go. I knew that this show was really country when they had to put subtitles on the Mama D's. Um, they, I mean, on the Mama D when she was talking. I was like, and the thing is, is I was reading. I was like, let me get my glasses. Hold on. What are they saying? What is she saying? Okay. I got it. I got it. She got Okay. It was just, it was a lot. Oh, this show. At the end of the day, Stevie J is a straight pimp. When um, he went to meet with me, me and she was like, I'm about to put my foot down. And he said one thing. She was like, you so stupid, Stevie. I love you. Damn. He didn't caught you again. And then you turn around and you're like, so you're going to come on? He's like, I, I, I mean, I, I, I. boy, he got the stuttering Stanley, stuttering Stanley. He couldn't say nothing. It was funny. Was I the only one that thought of Tamar and her and her husband when y'all saw uh, Carly and L.A. Reid's son? I was like, for real? You fell in love with him? Seriously? It, it had nothing to do with his last name? Come on. You bullshit me. Come on. You know you done fucked up. I'm just saying. Like, I immediately. Because she was like, yeah. And then she was like, and I mean, I really want to get in the studio with Stevie J. I ain't sure what happens, but I'm willing to stay all night long. I was like, it's about to go down. And uh, Miss Bisexual Betty, she was just like, she's cute. I was like, oh, he finna get both of them. L.A. Reid, son, you out. You are the weakest link. He finna bang. In that order. So we finally get to the club, and I immediately dropped my mouth when K. Michelle's country ass had dreadlock weave on her shoes. And it was like, girl, them cute. I was like, where? In what life? Like, your shoes. Like, you would get attacked by a dog if you walked by a dog because he's going to think those are two puppies. Like, you can't do that. You cannot do that and get away with that in the United States. I don't even know if that's legal in the, in the national world. Like, I, I think, I don't know. But I don't think you should be allowed to do that. It was bad. It was a real bad idea. Like, it would have been better if it was fur, but it was like crinkly hair. Like, I saw it. Like, I remember because I had that wig. Like, I know what you did. You made shoes out of a wig. I know. It was scary. Stop it. Clearly, the cameraman has an ass fetish. Every time I turned around, the camera was dropping to ass and dropping. I was like, I, I don't really stop it. Like, I don't. When you stop going to the ass, like every angle, like he would always pan from the ass. Usually, they go from the shoes and up. He would start at the butt, let the booty move a little bit, and go. I'm like, cameraman, what, what do you? Why do you? Okay, fine. And just let me know. I need to still work on my squats. I got it. Thank you for rubbing it in, Mr. Cameraman. That awkward moment when you are bragging on your friend's man and how great of a guy he is for your friend and somebody, the minute you say his name, somebody says, no, no, oh no, that's not her man because it's her man. Awkward. But the thing is, you would think that Carly would stop right then, but oh shit. No, no, she's like, no, 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 trust me. It's her man. It's, I, I was there. I saw Jocelyn with him. I was there, saw it with my own eyes. She was calling him daddy and everything. And everybody's like, whoa, stop, stop back up but she was like look i have nuts i have big balls i am not afraid to say what i saw you know most women they really will bow down she was like no i know what i saw those two were banging not sure what you what memo you didn't get but it's going down but with or without you damn at all did stevie j walk in the club with jocelyn and it was kind of like oh shit it's a ooh, it's about to go down like I was just like oh like I was cringing because I was like oh god and so he comes over kissing his boo in the mouth probably had been kissing other girl in the mouth and god know what else he was kissing on you gonna kiss your girl in the mouth like it's just ultimate disrespect like <laughs> I don't know it was funny because on most of these uh these reality shows the girls are sitting around and next thing you know drinks are being thrown they're like oh my god this show, K. Michelle was like, boy, I just got my hair did. I am not about to stay and get this hair and this weave wet. I was out. Soon as he came around, they was like, deuces. I'm out. <laughs> they left so fast. <sighs> I am praying that I heard this wrong, but did Stevie J ask <laughs> Mimi if she spoke to Jocelyn? Like, y'all please tell me I did not hear him say that. Because <laughs> I would have lost it. I would have lost it. 
Like, it was so many points in this, like, it was so many moments I was getting angry. Like, thinking about if I was in a situation, the situations that I had been in that was kind of messed up like that. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, you know, men have a cold. Yes, women have a cold, too. Like, how I am, you don't ever, 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 ever have to worry about me talking to your boo if I'm talking to you. That's true, T. I am not a backdoor type person ever. I don't, I'm not, I don't play side chick. It's just not in my life. I don't do that. But... If I was ever at that point in my life, boo, guess what? If I want what you have, I'm not about to talk to you. I'm going to look you dead in your face. I am not about to speak. And then turn around, Johnson, did you really? Girl, oh, I have absolutely negative eight respect for her ass because she sit up here and say, I mean, you don't trust your man? Bitch, would you trust him? Would you trust him? Why would I trust him when you know what's going on? Like, that made me mad because it was almost like she was trying to belittle her. Like, why you don't trust your man? Why you insecure? You know what you're doing in this studio. Like, don't make me feel stupid, you know, like I'm I'm tripping, I'm going crazy, when you know that you are the other chick. Like, that is the boldest shit. If I, she just needed, she deserved a slap in her face. I want somebody to knock the shit out of her before this season is over with. I'm just going to put it out there. Somebody needs to at least try to pop one of them implants. Just stay in bitches like her. I'm serious. I would have caught a case. Like, you got me all the way plucked up. You got me. Like, I promise you. Like, I start threatening people. I was like, man, I'm, t I'm telling you. Like, it's just wrong. Like, it's wrong to do stuff like that to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Okay. You know, they always say, oh, well, you know, he a man. Especially these men with money. I get it. They may cheat. Just don't make that other... How you gonna make your baby mama look dumb like that? Like, in front of all her friends, too? I like Ariana a lot because she was like, look, let's go. It's time for you to get up. No, move. Now. Stand up. Let's go. And then on top of that, he's about to leave and go run after the girl, his boo, Mimi. And before he does it, he decides to help Jocelyn put on her little chinchilla. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all ain't banging. I really thought it was funny when Jocelyn, when they were like, let's, you know, solve this or whatever. And Carly comes and sit down. Like, I'm about to tell you exactly. And Jocelyn's like, you just remember. I was like, did she just try to prep her? Kind of like, you keep your mouth closed? No. Carly was like, I saw y'all kiss. It's kind of like, we all grown here. What are you going to do when somebody straight calls you out in your face and tell you what, what you did? And all they could do was, you saw, we kiss? Girlfriend, we kiss? <laughs> really? We did? <laughs> wow. Y'all know that's cold for, we don't even have nothing to say. Oh, so we kiss? You know, he going to sit up there and try to call her a rat. She a rat because she being honest? Come on, Stevie. You you Are you mad because she told? Like, that's, that's, the thing is, is that if you do careless things, then you want to get caught. You can't be mad at the next woman if that's your friend, if that's your boo's friend that she tell. Like, you were in the wrong. Don't be parading around a side chick and your main chick. You know, she may know people. Like, don't do that. It was so many codes being broken in this show. So many. I see that throwing drinks is just now just a new thing for men and women. Thanks, Eric Williams, and you're not. We appreciate that. So I guess this is just the norm, norm now. Everyone throws drinks. And she was like, uh-uh, he going to throw that drink on my fur I could have sworn and sworn that she said fur and I was upset. I rewinded it twice to make sure, but she was saying, he going to mess my fur up. But it's on that she said fur And I was like, you don't get to call that jacket a fur -ra. And she's like, that's okay because he going to go buy me a new one. What? Oh, girl, you are so dumb, dick, dog, stupid. I don't like your face. Thing is, I thought she had a pretty face, but then I noticed that she had, like, this box chin. I was like, you kind of give me man. I don't know, but I don't really like Jocelyn. I don't, be honest. So, Stevie J, you are arguing with your girl, and your side chick calls, and you say, this her calling right now. And she's like, so? And he's like, but hold on. What? Did you really answer this phone? Like, I swear for God on everything I love, I would have snatched that phone and I would have chunked it through the windshield. I would have went open that door and just threw it like a, what is that? It's not a rock. It ain't a boomerang either. Well, we can do a boomerang. I throw it like this. Oh, man, I throw it either way. Whatever the case. Oh, Frisbee. I would have thrown it like that. Like, I want to go across your face. I'm going to break a window something. Like, and for her to say, you showing me what it is if you go get in that car, he was like, it ain't about that. And the thing, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. It makes me mad because check your bitch. Like, no bleeping that out. Check your bitch. Ain't, there's no way that this girl felt like she could have the big boss get out the car and check your girlfriend, Mimi. You know what I'm saying? Jocelyn, what? She should not feel that she has the right to do that. 
Like, what? So, clearly, Stevie, you are... these bo Both of these women feel like they have equal right to be your boo. But it's kind of like, you're you're buying houses for Mimi. You know? So, what really is it? Like, are you, are you trying to say you're single and you can do what you want to? Because I think you need to make that a little bit clear. Because I, I don't think that neither one of these women understand what's happening. But then he gets in the car with Jocelyn. So, now what? Because y'all know it's not over. For me, this would be the first and the last... This would be the season opener and the season finale i swear this show would be over because i was gonna shut everything down i'm gonna burn up atlanta and i'm gonna burn up your car like i'm burning up everything everything your iphone your glasses that you were the whole scene like every scene you had on your glasses i'm so upset like i'm mad like it sucks like i, I actually went to bed a little bothered last night like i have I, my face was crumbled because you know you think about yourself in these situations it's, it just sucks like i feel bad for mimi but I mean, is he lying to her? I'm, I'm trying to, I really need to think about this. I don't want to say it on the video yet. Because I really want to think and see if he's lying to her, like trying to give her false hope. Because he's saying he ain't going to come on all the time. He's he's already saying that. He, but no, he lying. Because he said he was going to be in the studio. But she knows what happens in the studio. This is too much. We're going to talk about it like on the third episode and figure this one out. I don't know, sucker mother lovers. At the end of the day, this show is filled with what all of us sometimes appreciate is drama but it's sad like because oh it's just a lot going on it's a lot of foolery but we're going to watch it is anybody watching single ladies oh okay we'll talk about that on another one but i'm watching it i do miss stacy dash though i really do but we'll talk about that on another um video so anyway second mother lovers as always this video is long enough and i gotta go to work talk to you later y'all already know what i'm gonna say i'm out how you gonna pimp a pimp in that order? Psh.